What's shaking, guys? guys? MagicActivator here, and welcome back to Pokemon Coliseum. After being mercilessly beaten by uh, Justy in the last episode, uh, we came here to the Agate Village, and it is time to actually meet Celeste's grandparents. I feel like this, uh, this relationship has gone to a deep level. We're already meeting the grandparents. But anyway. <laughs> Grandpa Egan, Grandma Bella, I missed you. Ah, Celeste, welcome, welcome. We heard that you were coming, but then you didn't arrive. We were worried about you, dear. Oh, you finally arrived. What held you? What held you up? I had just this terrible time. On the way here, I was abducted by these creepy people. Luckily, I was saved by magic, who happened to be there by coincidence. Oh, how frightful. Thank you so much for saving our granddaughter. But why would anyone want to harm Celeste? It's probably because I can see these bizarre Pokemon. They're shadow Pokemon, Pokemon that have been turned into fighting machines with hearts of darkness. Shadow Pokemon? What on earth is that? Well... Help! There's trouble! Huh, huh, Egan, it's a serious situation. Some outsiders went to the Relic Forest. What? Who were they? I don't know, they shoved me aside and... That's enough talk! I can't wait! It can wait, I'm off! Mm. Egan, spring it into action. So I guess we need to, uh... We need to, uh... Make suit and follow. I have to remember how to get to the uh, forest. I think we can go right here. <gasps> oh, I see an item. I see an item. I want the item. It's on the Pokemon Center. Okay, well here's here's the forest. I need to go scoop up that item, but uh, I can do that. I can do that later. Later, later. We can handle that. Uh oh, it's time for some action. I should probably do some switchy swapping around. I'm gonna put Umbreon up here. Let's get Umbreon up here for some action. Hey, what? Here comes another meddler. The old man earlier. He trampled me when I let down my guard, but that won't happen again. Alright, so Egan apparently is uh, quite the trainer. Quite the trainer. Even in his old age. Check it out. We got Spiel and Carvana. Nice and water types all around. That'll work out excellently for my pseudo widow. At least... Maybe you're not going to be that kind of person that wants to just sit here and uh, continuously use double team. Wow! That was a crit. That was indeed a crit. Secret power and secret power. Just all kinds of secrets are happening in this, in this uh, forest. Also, I like that it's a forest, but... We got the crit and the flinch. That's broken. That's broken. I think we'll end this uh, this match here, though, because... Oh, no. Wow. Crits are huge. Crits are huge. We could have low-rolled, I guess, but... That first secret power did so much. I thought, I thought another secret power would take out the spiel for sure. I should have used bite, honestly, that time. That would been the wiser thing to do. The only reason I used secret power the first time. I don't know why I, I opted to do, to do that the first time. Oh, because I thought I was going to attack the Carvana and then I ended up attacking the Spiel instead, doubling it on the Spiel. Because I didn't want the rough skin damage. That still does a lot. That one wasn't a crit though, was it? I don't know. Jeez, Surf. Hang in there, Suda Wudo. You got this. There you go. Look at you go. Recoil. Oh! Did we not... Oh, that, there it is. I was gonna say, do we not take rough skin damage? You're not speed boost. What's happening right now? Wait, does Carvana... Is Carvana's speed boost? I know Sharpedo is. I don't know. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's fine. We're fine! Why are all the villagers here so ridiculously strong? Yo, I'm not a local. I am not a local. I am gonna move Sudowoodo elsewhere for now because I'm not gonna 
Gonna lie, you got straight worked in that in that bat. No, you got straight worked in that battle. No, forget about it. You're not going any further. Cipher peon Silton would like to battle. Silton, did your mother give you that name? Probably. <laughs> probably, probably Shroomish and Cacnea. When I switch in my water type, at least it's a water and flying type, so it's not quite as bad as just being a pure water type, but still, that's just how my luck goes. I don't remember enough about all of this to be able, and you are going to have Effect Spore, which is honestly just obnoxious. Honestly just obnoxious. I'm a secret power, the Shroomish. I'm a secret power, because I, I don't want the Effect Spore to kick in. Although it's probably gonna happen when Mantine Shadow rushes you. We got the crit. We're not even in hyper mode when we get that crit. Hey! We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. All right. Uh, I'm pretty sure Secret Power is not gonna KO you. If we could crit, that'd be wonderful. Oh, it did. That works too. That's fine. I can work with that. I can work with that. There's the hyper mode. Which is just lovely because that means it's going to take us an extra turn to, uh, to win this battle. You try, and, you try and battle efficiently and just things never work out. Things never work out because my RNG tends to be pretty pretty rough as far as like the worst possible time to go into hyper mode is when they go into hyper mode and then we don't even get the crit in hyper mode we got the crit when we weren't in hyper tell me how does this make any sense wild wild are you gonna get five you're gonna get five aren't you Super, no, three. Okay, that works. I was gonna say, I was gonna say, if you, if you dare, if you dare, I'm gonna call you out this time. Oh, that was a pretty good, that was a pretty good chunk of hard gauge right there. That was a pretty good chunk. I like how Umbreon, uh, Umbreon's rings kind of like glow. I always thought that was really cool about like Stadium and Coliseum. Was Umbreon's rings kind of like glowing in and out? Because I don't think they do that in uh, in like the sixth and seventh gen games. Oh, fooly! I'm not feeling well today. Sorry, my dude. Oh, she dropped in like a ninja. Boo! <laughs> Scared you, didn't I? No, but you didn't. It did surprise me, though. It did surprise me. I feel like the first time that happened in the game, it probably did actually frighten me a little bit because I wasn't expecting it. Oh, this is nice. This is this is lovely. We got we got psychic types. Traced my water absorb. I good thing I don't have any water type news. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna bite you, and I'll just I'll just double in on the shadow rush action there. Why not? Hopefully, a bite will do it. Was that a crit as well? It was super effective, I know, but that might have also been a crit. Into the Curlio. I don't mind getting a free Shadow Rush on you. That did a lot. That was that was solid. I'll take that damage. Confusion. Well, that obviously is going for the man time. Which is fine, because Mantine is a bulky, bulky little manta ray. A bulky little manta ray. Okay. Um, let's focus. I'm going to bite Curlia, Shadow Rush, Ball Toy. Ayo. Got it. It feels so satisfying when Umbreon actually gets to do work. Like, honestly. Because... I just remember playing this game and like I used Espeon and Umbreon through a majority of the game every time that I played through it and 
I think this is the first time that I've really kind of like unevenly distributed them. And normally, Umbreon's a little bit higher level, but just can't really do much in terms of damage and stuff, but... It's, it's just really satisfying in battles like this where you got where you got psychic types and bite actually does decent some decent 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 a a decent amount of damage Wow Wow I can talk did he seriously live on one? Oh, it's because he's been cosmic power. He's been using that cosmic power Sad sad it's fine though, it's fine though. Taking care of business. Do we have to... Is there gonna be a shadow Pokemon? I feel like there is. I'm trying to remember what it was though. I'm shocked over this loss. I feel like we're about to battle someone with a shadow Pokemon. Little boy, you're shockingly strong. Yeah, I'm the same height as you. Oh, Celeste, Egan is in a heap of trouble. What shall we do? What shall we do? Egan might be the mythical trainer, but he's punishing his... He's pushing his luck if he thinks he can battle at his age. Yo, I just realized that... Oh, is this Hitmontop? I think this might be Hitmontop. Also, I just realized I didn't give any of them the, uh, the grunt voice. You! Who are you? What are you doing here? Although you may ask why we are here... We simply cannot answer that. I can see that you are a senior citizen, but I cannot allow you to interfere with our affairs. You're the ones interfering, shady creeps like you. I'll personally run out. Ha <laughs> ha. Now, now. Someone so old shouldn't overdo it. Don't take me for a fool. I'll have you know I was once hailed the most powerful trainer. I like how he looks like, straight up, he looks like what I imagine... Moa, uh, Moa, Noah or Moses looking like from the Bible. <laughs> He's got that look about him. That isn't, that isn't all either. I, I have a comrade with whom I've been through thick and thin. This is the first Pokemon I got and it's been with me ever since. Okay, Pikachu, I haven't battled this much in a while. Let's keep focus. Oh boy, it's happening. Cypher Peon Scrub. He's got that hitmon top. Oh, this is a single battle! I forgot about this. Yo, so there's there's a theory that a lot of people have that since Pikachu was the first Pokemon that Egan ever had, that he's either like Ash or he's red or something like that. Uh, which is an interesting theory. An interesting theory. I don't think there's really anything to back it up. This thing is level 50. And this Hitmontop is embodying it. But I like how the first single battle situation that we've got in the game isn't even us fighting. <laughs> what is this? Wow, Pikachu. Should have been holding a light ball or something. Whew. Didn't I already say... An old man shouldn't overdo it. Grandpa Pikachu! How dare you! You'll never get away with this! Ah, now here's someone who may show me a more f enjoyable time. Very well, on guard. Oh! We're doing it! We're doing it right here and right now, I guess. He's not gonna lead with the hip on top, though. He's not real! He doesn't lead with the hip on top. Oh boy, so I guess, I guess we're doing the battle. I guess we're doing the battle. Also, Umbreon is taking a bit of damage. Clam Pearl and Geodude. Alright. I guess we just have to go in. I should be doubling up again. I should be really doubling up on uh, my attacks here, but... I honestly didn't remember that it was going to propel us right into the battle as soon as that was over, so... Oopsie. Iron Defense. Oh, that is going to be obnoxious. That is going to be obnoxious. Double Edge. Jeez. Okay. Well, Mantine, Rippy Dippy. 
This is good though, because we can bring Espeon in. And Espeon can do work against really both these Pokemon. But specifically the Clam Pearl since it just boosts its defense. You know what? Bump it this time. We're we're doubling in doubling in on that Clam Pearl slot. Sends in another Pokemon, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Espeon, you are a monster. You are a monster. I shouldn't doubt you. Oh, no, 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 no. I almost sped through learning Psybeam. Hello? Um, Confusion is base power 50. Psybeam is base power 65. I think, I think it's worth it to teach. I would teach, I would actually teach it over uh, Swift, but because I, because I, I do feel like I screwed up teaching it Swift over Return, but I don't, I don't think it's there's really any point in having both the psychic type moves other than for the PP, and I, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. So it'll be good. And the good news is you send in a Hitmon top. Is this your last Pokemon? Good news is I can just slowly whittle away at this uh, this hit on top pretty pretty decently. No, you still have a lot more Pokemon. What are you doing? I really need this Geodude to be gone. Look at this Psybeam animation. Oh, the colors are so nice. The colors in that in that animation are so nice. I love it. Ooh, why not? Triple kick. Ugh. That crit. I'm sorry, Umbreon. I'm sorry. I like that the rings are actually... I just realized that when the, uh, when the rings kind of fade out, it makes them gold. It makes them, uh, silver looking. Like gold and silver. Ah, got him. All right. Anyway, Mistrevis, Mistrevis, Mistrevis. I need you to. Um, I don't know what I really need you to do right now, other than help me to take care of this. Why not? It, I'm gonna set up Reflex. I am gonna set up Reflex. Might be a slight waste of a turn there, but I'm gonna set up Reflex. Oh, and he's gonna. Well, that reflect probably not gonna matter. That reflect's probably not gonna matter in the end. Good to know. Also, Espeon can't touch this why not. So that's wonderful as well. Um I'm gonna confuse Ray the hit on top. And you swift, I guess? What do I do? I know I gotta get the him on top down low enough that I can catch it, but this is a uh, this is a uh, this is a tough situation. This is a tough situation. <sighs> so much for a uh, a reflect. What's a reflect? Who knows what's what's a reflect? We're, are we about to lose this battle? If we lose this battle, I'm going to be severely upset. Oh, yes! We have Yawn! This is what we need. 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 I guess I can... Sidebeam's not going to do anything to why not, but... I don't really have anything else I can do. <gasps> Unless we crit! Oh my goodness, if you... Oh, please hit yourself in confusion. Please hit yourself in confusion. Slugma, I need you to live. Okay. Good. Put that thing to sleep. Thank you. I think we might be okay. I think we might be okay. I'm gonna shadow rush the why not slot. 
and I'm gonna swift this turn. And then this turn, I think we'll take out the why not with the swift, honestly. Yeah, especially if we crit it. Shadow Rush should not kill the uh, Hitmon top. And hopefully, hopefully. Oh, he's burned. Oh no, right before he got put to sleep. That's bad. That might actually be bad. I mean, it's still a status. It's still a status, so... We got that going, but now he's on a timer, which is actually a little bit frightening. Alright, I'm gonna start chucking... Chucking Pokeballs. I think that's what I have to do. Or Great Balls. And, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh... I'll use, uh, I'll use Swift. Oh my goodness, hit him on top. You could be really cool right now and just cooperate with me. You could be really cool right now. This episode's gonna be so long. This episode's gonna be so long. This is gonna be another one of those that get, gets. It's gonna be. It's gonna be close to 30 pro minutes probably. <laughs> so hey, good news for you guys, I guess. <laughs> Who are really enjoying the series. If not, I guess I should apologize. <laughs> um, because this is gonna be a long one. Ah, oh, boy. Pseudo is gonna, gonna get bodied. It's all down. It's all up to Espeon. It's, it's actually all up to Espeon now. Our reflect is gone. All right, I'm gonna throw another great ball. I don't think I can keep attacking it. Um, I'm gonna set up another reflect. I'm gonna set up another reflect just because it might keep Pseudo Wudo alive a little bit longer. Maybe. I don't know that to be sh true, but. Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! I was actually getting really nervous. I should have declined. Wowzers. 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 I have been instructed to capture Cel- I've been instructed to capture Celebi, then destroy the Relic Stone, but matters have not gone according to plan. I shall have to immediately inform Dokken, who has gone to Mount Battle. Grandpa, are you okay? I'm fine, but my partner... Ah, you're safe. Good, good. You battled with honor. If your opponent has any ordinary Pokemon... If your opponent was any ordinary Pokemon, you would have won. So that was a shadow Pokemon. Celeste and Magic, am I right? Thank you for helping us. We should go home for the time being. What? You're just gonna... You're just gonna send me... Send us back like that? You really had me worried. Please don't do anything so rash and dangerous again. I'm sorry, dear, but I couldn't very well let them have their way. Those crooks, they said that they were out to capture Celebi and destroy the Relic Stone. Hmm. Why might there be a connection between... S Why? Might there be a connection between Celebi and the Shadow Pokemon? Oh no, that's no good. We came here because we thought you... You would know something, Grandpa. Hmm. Sorry to disappoint you. Oh, yes. Dear, didn't we have a stone tablet? It had something about the relic carved into it. Oh, uh, yes, yes, we did have such a stone tablet. Now, where could I have put it away? Let me go look for it upstairs. It may take some time, so please be patient. While she's looking, you might try to gather more information on Celebi, Celeste. Go see the old man named Cinelor. He lives near the Pokemon down the hill. Cinelor is the authority when it comes to Celebi. That is, if he remembers. Alright guys, well, this episode has been a bit of a longer one, but we're going to go ahead and wrap things up right here in the next episode. We are going to go, I guess, and see 
uh, what Sinlor knows about Celebi and do a little bit of investigating. So, uh, thank you guys so much for your support and thanks for checking out the video. If you did enjoy this episode, remember to hit that like button down below for us. But for now, guys, I'm going to make like an apper and get out of here. So, have yourselves a wonderful day. Stay cool and we will catch you guys later.